welcome to today's video. My name is Reagan. I normally do book content and welcome to my 12 days of book miss. Yesterday I finished my last exam for my first semester of college and I am officially home for the holidays. No more studying to do. So I thought I would do a little self-care slash reading day slash lazy day at home vlog just to kind of rejuvenate and relax. I was just going to talk through some plans I have for the day. I need to shoot some content for book miss and then I need to shoot some content for my bookstagram which I have always linked down in the description if you want to go check that out. I started a bookstagram recently. I want to do a workout. I want to read and maybe even finish the book I'm in the middle of which I should go grab so I can show you. I want to do some like self-care stuff, skincare, pluck my eyebrows. Don't look at them now because they're they're really bad. I just want to do a few little things like that. I thought I'd bring you along with me. First things first, First, I need to go make some breakfast because I literally did just wake up. Like I woke up, turned on the camera, and made my bed. That's all I really have to announce for this video. What did I do my intro? I did do my intro. If you are new tuning into Bookmas, go check out day one, two, three, potentially four, whatever day we're on. Since my exams ended late on the 13th, I'm doing the 12 days of Bookmas. I started posting on the 13th. We'll see how I do. This is my first year doing Bookmas. I've watched Bookmas for so many years. Been on Booktube since middle school. I had a Booktube channel in middle school. It's actually the same channel I'm posting on right now, but I deleted all the videos when I went to high school because I was embarrassed. And then I started it back up at the end of high school. Same for my bookstagram. I had a bookstagram in middle school and I stopped when I went into high school because I was embarrassed and I restarted this year. Kind of coming full circle. I wish I still had the videos that I posted. I still have the stories that I posted on my bookstagram so I might make a little like highlight reel of those stories that I posted. I don't even own those books anymore. But let me talk about my book. So I'm currently in the middle of Love Light Farms by BK Borison. I'm on page 140. There's like 304 pages so I'm about half way and I would love if I could get a huge dent in this today. After this I'm going to be taking a break from holiday books for a little while because I've been reading holiday books non-stop. It took me a little while to get into it honestly. I wasn't a huge fan fan of the beginning and I know a lot of people really like this book for the holidays. I think The Friends to Lovers is not my favorite trope. I've been thinking about this a lot recently because a lot of people's favorite trope is Friends to Lovers and I really dislike that trope and I think it's because all the guys I'm friends with like I don't picture myself with them. Ever. I could never be friends with someone to that level, like best friends with someone that I have feelings for. I think I would have, I would definitely have confessed way sooner. Like I would give in. So that's kind of why I think I'm not a fan, just because I can't relate to it. Am I making any sense? Who knows? So let's go make breakfast because I am starving. Okay, I'm making one of my favorite breakfasts ever. I'm gonna make oatmeal with strawberry and blueberry and pecans. So that's what we're making for breakfast this morning. For how I make it, you need one and a half cups of water and two thirds cups of oats. So two thirds cups of oats. Then we need water, which is one and a half. I'm trying to make this a long vlog. I've been watching Steph Fours. I think that's how you say her last name. Her vlogmas. And I really, I don't want to do that much water actually. I've been loving her vlogmas recently and I like her long vlogs and I never do long vlogs because I don't feel like people like to watch me talk that much but I'm gonna try it out. This vlog is probably gonna also end up being like 10 or 11 minutes just because I'll cut out all the stuff that I'm like oh that's boring. I'm gonna try and keep stuff in like I'm talking to my friend on FaceTime kind of thing. I also always throw in some chia seeds. I just guesstimate a nice stir. Normally it takes about three minutes in the microwave. While it microwaves, I cut strawberries and blueberries. I don't cut the blueberries, but I do cut the strawberries. Made my breakfast. It's time to eat it. Here's what I have in my bowl. It is oatmeal with strawberries, blueberries, and pecans, and some brown sugar. Let's get a bite with everything in it. Got blueberry. Strawberry pecan. So delicious. Favorite breakfast ever. I literally devoured that. It's less than like three minutes later. It's gone. My next goal is to shoot some content for Bookstagram. I don't know what content yet. Haven't decided. Um, my grandpa's coming over in 15 minutes and I'm gonna help him wrap his gift for my grandma. Yeah, I need to shoot some content for Bookstagram. 
because I haven't shot anything in a few days and it's necessary. Here's my OOTD. So I have this sweater that I thrifted. It kind of reminds me of like the Taylor Swift cardigan. Just some airy flare leggings and that's all. I have my shoes, my slippers. My mom gave these to me. They're my house slippers. We got a change of plans. We're going on an adventure. We have to go buy my grandma's Christmas present. My grandpa brought a book for my grandma to give me. So I have a new book. Found with the eggs. Of course. Hey, so we got back for my errands. Now we have to do some wrapping. Presents are wrapped. I'm just sitting by the tree doing some reading of Love Light Farms and watching my puppy. For now, we're just going to be reading. I might be abandoning the plan of shooting content for YouTube, but I did shoot content for Instagram. That's off my checklist. There is no possible way you can see me right now. I finished Love Light Farms. It's like 1 a.m. I had to drive my brother to his golf practice. And then I had to go to dinner with my family. And I came back and I read. There's a few things I didn't do, but that's okay. So I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. I have no recollection of what I said in that clip before I went to bed. But last night I did actually finish Love Light Farms. Finally, I feel like I've been reading this forever. I ended up giving it a three and a half stars. There was a few little things that I didn't enjoy. It took me a long time to get into. The characters felt a little flat. Those were mostly my big two complaints. I didn't enjoy it as much as I feel like some other people enjoy it. Opinions on this book stem from my reading experience and I think my reading experience probably wasn't the best just because of the mood I was in and everything. I would 100% recommend this as one of the better Christmas romances because I could see that objectively as I was reading. My enjoyment of it wasn't above average so I rated it average. That makes sense but I do think this would be a good Christmas rom-com to recommend and I think a lot of people really enjoy it and they have a reason to. That's my take on this book. Obviously the day vlog is done because it is the next day but I just wanted to give you a little outro for this video so thank you so much for tuning in to Bookmas Day 4. Really glad you're here. Go check out all the other days of Bookmas and stay tuned for tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed spending my relaxed chill day with me. All my socials are linked below if you'd ever like to check those out. I hope to see you in Bookmas Day 5 and in any of my other videos. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one, hopefully.